Hi, I'm TJ Lynch for BuyRotan.com. Today we're on a little adventure. We're going across the island to check out Calabash Bite on the east end. Now traveling across the island any day is kind of a, kind of like a video game. There's all sorts of things that jump out in front of you. And especially on a cruise ship day like today, there's a lot of taxis on the road. And believe me, they are absolute idiots. I've never seen anybody that has no clue how to drive like the taxis here on Rotan. They will stop anywhere on the road, um, on blind corners, hills, for no reason, just stop. Very few of them have brake lights and uh, they cross the center line all the time to avoid potholes and or, you know, I don't know, just for the heck of it. See that? Their brains, they feel that because they're avoiding a pothole that they have every right to cross the center line and come into your lane. <laughs> really, really, really so, weird. Seatbelt, real important. And uh, I don't know, maybe sometimes you should wear a helmet inside the car. Cool, eh? Guy's using a little refrigerator as a boat. They're very resourceful here on Roatan. They'll use anything for fun. Of course, no trip across the island would be complete without a stop at the new Remax office. This is my good friend Ollie Thompson, and uh, I no 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 trip across the island would be complete without a visit to Ollie. How are you, Ollie? <laughs> I'm doing great. How are you, TJ? I'm doing great. Ollie has a radio station, and her and I are working on something together right now, real big. <laughs> Shh, top secret though, I can't tell you. Okay, so we're back on the road again, cruising over to Calabash Bay. It's interesting that the road on the east end of the island is actually better than the road on the west end of the island. There's very few potholes, the pavement's nice. See what I mean? It's very nice. So we're just passing Oak Ridge now. Now from here we're turning off to go towards the east end of the island. And the road becomes a gravel road with a lot of uh, big trucks on it. The big trucks are because there's a gravel pit uh, located out here and uh, which supplies a lot of the crushed gravel, road base, uh, and sand for constructions. Now it's certainly not a uh, four-wheel drive road, but it's a road that you have to uh, travel with caution and, uh, you know, not so fast. And there's a gas station and a convenience store located here. This road reminds me of the old days of rally racing in a little car. A lot of fun. Except I won't be doing any sideways turns today. And recently they brought power lines all the way out to uh, Camp Bay as well. So from the end of the paved road in Oak Ridge to the turnoff to Calabash Bight, it's taken me about six minutes so far. And now we're on the Calabash Road. Beautiful, beautiful scenery. Lots of trees. Nice road. And there's the gravel pit I was telling you about. Well, I made it to Calabash Bight. What a sensational, quiet, private place it is here on the island. Absolutely amazing. Now the real reason I'm here is to look at a house for some clients of mine, Roy and Linda from Canada, who bought this house from me over the internet. So this is the back of the house with a large parking lot. Sensational view that we'll go down and look at. The views are absolutely incredible. Large, spacious deck. And look at that. The view goes from there all the way to there. More than 180 degrees. Now the living room certainly takes advantage of the view. I absolutely love these hardwood doors. Now again, guys, this is where you'll probably be spending most of your time on the deck. And it is sensational. What a view. So you can see by the view behind me that uh, why a lot of people choose to come out here for both the privacy and the seclusion away from the hustle and bustle and all the tourists. Okay, so now I'm heading back to uh, town. Now a lot of people 
people that live out here have four-wheel drives because the roads are a little rough. They're, uh, they can have loose gravel and shale on them. And uh, the more clearance, the better. But I'm in a little car and I'm making it just fine. Now the drive to Calabash Bight from French Harbor is about 30 minutes. And the view and scenery along the way is stunning, absolutely gorgeous. So if you're coming to Rotan, make a point of renting a car or a motorcycle or a scooter and uh, going out there. And if you're interested in buying real estate out there, there's some great buys available right now as well. I'm TJ Lynch for buyrotan.com.